Good evening, and welcome back to Timberborn, where we have just finished another drought, and all of our beavers don't have any power. Getting it back now slowly. Uh, but we are, we are ready. We are, our paper area is ready to go. So we can import some beavers into here and get some paper going. And then we can try and get over here and work on dealing with the explosives, which should be fun. Like lots of fun. Yeah kind of be the same setup as this actually just here I feel that's going to be kind of the best way to do it so we might do it that way I am going to have to leave I can't connect the road up here because of the connections here although I kind of could because we could put a gate in there I suppose so if I did that then we put a gate there. Oh, the game, the game is starting to run rather slowly. Um, right, you're owned by this one here. You you don't need access over here anymore, although I'm going to leave it in. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll put in a gate like that. That. No. And this is all owned by by that you've come out you can't come out in there because uh, yeah um okay okay well we don't want to get here let's get rid of that gate put the path back in if i can oh come on hey bomb. Uh, what we want to do is we want to build all the things we want to build all the things so we've got all the things here uh, i put a holding post in here with the lowest lowest amount of workers in it um, because I was trying, I was testing something here. Uh, the beavers from the paper mill, the uh, district centre, were not taking goods out of the, the drop-off point. So I built a holding post so that I could tick this this box here to find out whether they would then do it, whether they would become haulers to it. And they don't. They don't at all. They they do not remove stuff out of here unless they absolutely have to. And the only way to get them to do it, to empty it, is to set the minimums on the uh, the um, the warehouse. So I've set the minimums on the warehouse to 100 each, and then they started coming and emptying it and, and putting stuff around. So, yeah, that's about the only way to do that. I think that's the same as what we did down here. Um, that I had to set the minimums up for, uh, uh, yeah, at 100 to each so that they would empty this here because uh, it got to the point where it just wasn't accepting any more planks. It was full. No planks were coming in. Stuff wasn't getting built. So, oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So let's build. Base I'm going to copy this. I'm going to essentially copy this here. I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to pause again because then I can actually play. Um, and, and that's due to us having like 400 and something beavers at the moment. Uh, well, 377 beavers. Not quite 400, but close. Absolutely close. I'm going to literally build a carbon copy of. Uh, of this here. Because uh, it makes sense in my head. Power River, like that. We put a path in here. Oh, that's not a path. It's a path. Oh. Uh, and then at the back, we're going to put in the explosive uh, factory because we have them. We have we have explosive factories. So let's unlock those. Put them and let's unlock explosives as well because you need explosives later. Uh, but this time we're going to do it sort of here and along. Well, we could do it that way and along. Uh, no, we do, might do it this way. We might do it up that way instead. Yeah, why not? Why not do it up this way? I don't know how many we need, so I'm going to put three in. Um, yeah, really not sure how many we're going to need here, so we'll figure that. We'll, fi we'll figure that out. Figure that out. Which means I might do away with this here, so it's not going to be a carbon copy. We'll do away with that there, and uh, we do still want to get up on the roof this building so let's move that one back a bit build ourselves a second power line to remember to take that there you go so that's got power there we can then do stairs going up here or up here we've got there and it feels like a bit of a waste i could get onto both sides of the building
gen genuinely feels like a bit of a way. Oh, oh, hang on. Um, I don't. I, we don't need two. We don't need two um, restored heritages. But I can build two, so we're going to. There we go. Boom. And. Uh, oh no, we can't. No, we can't. No, we can't. We can't build two because you need to go up a second level to do that. Okay, maybe we won't bother. Maybe we'll just go up by the one. Yeah, quite simple. Short yeah, that'll do. That'll do. There you go. Yeah, awesome. Okay, and then this side we won't, just won't bother. We won't worry about it. Um, we can put the town center in there, and then the district center will go in there. Can't put it in there yet. And then we can put in. Oh, uh, how many workers do these take? These take one. We're not going to need many workers here. We're really not. We do need a distribution post as well. Um, no, they can go behind. They can go behind here. Yeah. Distribution post can go behind there. The drop off point. And, and what? We'll put it there. And they're going to put stuff into here. So I'm going to leave that all on defaults. Back now, I'm not. I'm going to up it to 100. Oh, for copy and paste. Okay, and no explosive. Not that half this stuff is going to come in here, but uh, if I could copy and paste workshops or storages with uh, all their settings copied, because there's a lot in here. I really feel like at the top you need a default button. You need a um, like a set all button. Not that, not that half that's going to get there. And then this one doesn't want anything, so none, none, none. And then it wants to be allowed explosive, and it wants to have them all. I think everything moves into them, and then like you as well, you're going for paper, and you want to actually demand them all. So the uh, so you do do the things. You do the things. Okay. Uh, so that's that there. If we did that, and then put a house on the end, we could put a house that side and transfer power over if we need to. There we go. And there's a distribution post for this thing. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I think that's good. That's good. Oh, we want to put in the uh, campfire as well. We want to campfire. This could be nice to our beavers. We want to keep them. It's got to go up there. Uh, it can go over here. There we go. Oh, okay. uh, and we'll put in. We can put in a shower or two. As well. Didn't we really do that over here? Didn't have any access to water. So uh, they've got a bit of water here, actually. So. In a shower or two here as well. Like that. No one lives here yet, so this is fine. Um, that'll be fine there, and uh, let's give them a shrine or so. Um, two shrines there, and we'll give you two shrines here. There you go. Uh, don't really need a temple, don't need a healer's heart. Might need a healer's heart later, but I don't know. Okay. Okay, and then we can unpause, and we can let these beavers build it. They're going to chop down the two trees because that's their last thing. Then they're going to build this, which is fine. I need to move beavers into here. So how many do we need here? We have 19 jobs spare. Uh, don't need 19 beavers here though. Um, because if I pause that, turn off the job, you see that? Okay, so we have nine jobs spare. Which is the four in there as well. Yeah, so. Yeah, nine. Okay, so we need to build another house here as well. We're going to have like 10 beavers. Ooh. And we can make that a priority, please. Okay, and then we'll migrate in 10 beavers. Migrate in. Zoom down to the bottom. Paper mills is going to be 10. Oh. Apparently, we're going to have 10 beavers to move into there. That's surprising. Mind you, we've got loads of kids. Loads of, loads of kits at the moment, so. 
the text bit of time. And then this one's going to become the next district, which would be awesome. And uh, everything could be fine. Uh, and we need to move golems into here as well. Four golems need to come into there. How are we doing for golems? Golems are one spare golem. Oh, we've got 16 in capacity, so that number's not quite correct. Uh, we've got 16 that need charging, so we'll get there. And speaking of golems, actually, speaking of golems, there has been a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. As you can see, uh, let's go down to the bottom because of the names. Marvin. Marvin has gone. Marvin has faded away. And it's really bad. And, and, and I'm, I'm sorry, Marvin. Marvin, you have left. You have left us. You have really departed. And it's a shame. It's a shame. But um, he was only called Marvin because he had no power. So that's fine. But the rest of these are here now. Uh, but we do have another golem. Another golem is joining us. Another golem is joining us. And this golem is Roberto84. Drukul Dragon. We wanted Roberto84. So you shall have Roberto84. There we go. He's in there. Um, and uh, as I said, um, as these come along and start losing oomph, which uh, they will do. All the names that we're doing are like that. Unless someone chooses a name that's uh, behind a C, because these are now special orders, then... Um, that's going to break everything. I don't think anyone has yet. As I said, if I go up, they're all cockheads, so they're either going to be at the top or the bottom. Oh, we got saving. Are we got saving. Are we giving up? Never got saving. Look up here. Yeah, cockhead two. So this is so. Yeah. Okay. okay. So as as and when. So I think uh, Johnny Five is going to be the next one to go. Um, and then uh, we could make Johnny Five number two. Johnny Five Two, Johnny Five the Second. I think just do Johnny Five Two, and then as as they die, and we'll go for there. But um, but yes. If you do see your name down here, your robot name down here, um, then if you can see it, uh, then um, uh, let me know. I might miss it. I may miss it. I don't know. I'm 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 gonna write down these names so I know what we got, and then every now and then I can check and be like, oh, that person is missing. Let's rebuild them. We can rebuild them. We have the technology. But we don't have the technology to make this game run very smoothly when all the beavers are out. It really does take a long time to do things. So, and I mean a really long time to do things. I cannot even run the game at double speed right now. Um, why are you all out of power? There's four charging stations. Oh, hang on, hang on. How many, how many golems are here? There's 18 golems here, okay. Okay, maybe maybe we should start distributing golems around just to just to spread out this here. But you see the game even at one speed now, the game is is really struggling. And it makes sense. It makes it we, we, we know this, we know the game does struggle with three hundred and seventy one beavers and sixty six golems. That's over four hundred entities for the game to deal with. So we know, we know this happens. Um what I'm hoping to do is uh we can get more golems and distribute them around because a golem is worth basically two beavers so you can cut down the amount of beavers um, that are used like, like in here in here we could have um four beavers uh, in a distribution post because they work 24 hours a day we could have four of them we could cut the workload down and uh, they would be better at doing it um, because they work longer longer hours uh, we do not need four four beavers at the point. We don't need four beavers inside the uh, the district centers. That's that's not needed. We can cut that down to one. So I think it's time we did that. I think it's time we did that. Let's let's be realistic here and look at how many beavers we want, and let's just set all of our beavers, all of our golems, to the numbers we need them to be, or want them to be, I should say. So like holding posts, I'm going to cut down the holding posts to five beavers. We're going to, we're going to cut down to five. So by default, it is five beavers. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to set that as. Um, uh, workers there. We're going to set this down to one, like that. So in District One, currently, because District One is also going to take on the uh, uh, engine. District One is going to take on the engines as well. So yeah, District One might might have something there. Um, I don't know. And also, District One may steal a little bit of land somewhere, or possibly build out a little bit of land here. We can put a temple in. 
Uh, we'll see. This one is going to become the one where it was going to just be breeding pods, but it's going to be the engines as well. I could make an independent district for the engines. I mean, I really could make it another golem district. I don't know. What do you think? Should we make another district for the for the, for the engines, or should I just tap it onto district one? Because district one right now is just breeding pods. That's it. It's not doing anything else. Just breeding pods. Um, gathering, gathering berries, breeding. That's it. So um, I kind of feel like it makes sense. To, to do that okay. anyway, so we need in this one here because it has no distribution post um, so it needs six it needs six Bom, there you go awesome let's go to district two which is the farm now the farms does have distribution posts um, and as I said I'm going to drop these down to four and we'll see we'll see right. if it doesn't work we can up it again later uh, so you need one, six, ten, fourteen. Fourteen. Which means you'll need less beavers. I'll leave the beavers there for the moment, and we'll come back and calculate that once the golems have spread out and done things there. Uh, water is uh, the same, so we need one in here. We need five in here. And uh, we then need. See, I don't. I don't feel like I need this one running. Let's turn that one off. Okay. We'll drop this one down to four. We'll drop this one down to four. Uh, and and I'll see. I'm, I'm, we'll probably have to up these numbers again because they might go. But we'll see. So that means you need four, eight, uh, thirteen, fourteen. You need fourteen beans. Fourteen go. Same as same as the makes it. You only need six. Wait. Because we just have one. Oh, no, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, six, ten, fourteen. You need fourteen as well. Fourteen. I feel like it's going to be the magic number. I didn't, I didn't take the distribution in place. There we go. Fourteen B. Fourteen go. Uh, and I'm going to do that. For each and every one. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back. So, the calculations have been made and I've gone through and changed everything. Uh, I haven't done the distribution posts in everywhere yet. Some are, some have distribution, some have bogs, cogheads in the distribution, others don't. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, we have gone through, we have checked it all. We are we were 120 beavers over. We're 118 now, because obviously beavers sadly passed away. So I paused half my breeding pods to try and bring my beaver numbers down so that the game will run smoother. But we are still producing loads of cockheads, which means we're going to get even more. It tells me there are three unemployed cockheads. But if I bring this up here, let's see if I can find it now. Bring it here. So we're looking at this number here, the lowest one in here. So it says um, how many golems there are, how many vacancies there are, and how many are unemployed and if I go down so breeding pods farms water and logs are all zero down to the next one uh, gear workshop zero lumber yards are zero grills are zero and grit mills are zero come down to here uh, bakery chestnuts aha chestnuts <clears throat> right ah chestnuts I don't I don't think I don't why did I add ah because you can be able to uh, that there we go put on some of these do not need the golems that I'm putting into it, to be honest with you. Um, but this chestnut one doesn't need it. It could happily just not not need this. Also, I could do with building a road here. I think we might do that. Uh, mark resources with ambition. Let's remove those. Um, I think we might build a road over here. We'll um, fill in the water here. <coughs> yeah, we'll fill in the water here. Uh, also... I have uh, gone around and checked every single district, and every single district is above seven happiness. And the reason that is important is because at seven happiness, or seven well-being, I should say, uh, their life expectancy increases to 20%. So a breeding pod, instead of doing 10 beavers, will do 12 beavers. So that's something we need to take into account. That's why our population's bloomed up, because obviously everywhere has got more happiness 
level, so you, you are 12. The next happiness stage is 17. When we get there, obviously, we'll have to recalculate things, but I don't think we're going to get there for a while. He's currently 9, so... Yeah, um, so I've turned off most of the breeding pods, and we're just running on uh, 16 of them, which is 192 beavers, technically, which is less than what we need. We need 216. But as we start building more and more golems, I will be switching over some workplaces to golems, like here. These are still beavers. They will switch over to golems when we get enough, which we don't have yet. So you've got some be be uh, beavers in. I didn't want to switch them and then be like, oh, uh, stuff's not moving around because there's no golem, there's no beavers to work in the in there. So uh, um, no golems to work in there. Farms are switched over. They're both running on cockheads. Uh, this is running on cockheads, and this is here. So farms have got the 14 in each. Water is the same. Water has the 14 in it. Um, uh, water actually, uh, water's to uh, I've over, over calculated something here because water's got 30 spare beavers doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, um, I changed all the, all the things and because we just don't, we have, we have so many beavers. They're not migrating anywhere because there's nowhere for them to go. There's no, there's no purpose for them to go anywhere. So, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Our printing presses are running, which is quite nice. Uh, this is running here. Uh, did I set the distribution limits correctly for the wood? Here. Logs. 100. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, this is not being built, but is being built at the same time. Um, it's just really slow. The game's really slow. So um, uh, I need to I need to do that. So I think I'm going to let it run. And we're going to have a mass ending of uh, beavers. They're all going to uh, pass away with old age, which is fine. You know, that's... Uh, just how things are uh, and we can get this explosive place and built and ready to go um, so yeah and then once we get that built and I can store enough explosives that's the important thing I need to store so, so we need 10 explosives per one of these so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 we need 100 we need 100 explosives um, to deal with this and then we need to rebuild these so we need the supplies to rebuild these as well, uh, which uh, isn't a problem because it's all here. And with golem distribution, it will get built very soon. So as soon as like a drought comes along, um, we can get rid of these. We can build the engines beforehand, um, get rid of these, rebuild the power system, and then build the wheels as and when we need to. It's just uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to get it all working. And we're going to do a bit of jiggly poker up here to uh, move things around. Let's let's prepare for this, shall we? Let's prepare for this. Prepare for trouble. Okay, let's do this. I don't think that. So you can build over that there if you would be so kind. And uh, then we can move things around. I thought we might have to move to drop off point, which is something I don't really want to do. But then again, we might not have to. So we're okay, let's unlock the engine. It's only 400 sides. Let's unlock it. No, we, this is supposed to be fine. It's just that's where we're going to move one. So we're going to put them there, and then one there, and then one there. We could we could stack them up longer and have like a big row of them, but I'm going to leave gaps in between them. Uh, it'll leave a two gap in between them. Uh, yeah, we'll do that down, and then we'll do the same on that side. So I have 10 engines, and engines produce uh, 400 horsepower. Uh, I don't know what we're going to put in the gap. Um, I can't think of anything to put in the gap. Uh, no, I can't really think of anything to put in the gap. I mean, we could... We're not very high up. We're not very high up on the map level, so we couldn't exactly blow up a hole and then uh, put in batteries along there. Uh, we could put some batteries in, I suppose. We could put some batteries in. Um, but, yeah. So these, these are producing 500, so when we switch to engines, it'll be less power. There'd be 400. Um, so we will need batteries to do that. We could put some batteries in, but we could build like a little staircase up and have a battery. But it's getting the power up to it as well. It's the, the big problem with getting the power to the battery, which we'd have to figure out as well. So I, I don't know. I know I'm, I might just build a, like a battery bank down here somewhere on the end. See how it goes. Uh, I do also have to talk to the battery banks, go around and do a couple of extra charging points in places because uh, the farms have got loads the farms are good We've got loads in the farms i don't know i don't know why i built so many of them um uh, but the water district only has one charger which is not enough for 14 golems so uh you have to do that looks like it's about enough uh, about seven golems per one so we'll, we'll try that 
Uh, I think you've got two. So maybe two for 14 items. Oh, and also I removed all the beds here and the medicine hut. That's all uh, going to be charging stations now because this is probably going to have lots of golems in it. I think we're going to get 150 golems. I think. With this running at full speed. Doesn't count that obviously we're going to be using a lot of power. But when we've got our engines running, we should be okay. We should be okay. I just wish engines would auto level. Like, um, uh, you know, if their power's not being used, don't burn as much wood. But they don't, they don't work that way. Just linear on or off. Which is fine. We've got the trees. We've got the trees. We're fine for it. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. So anyway, I'll leave this here. I'll leave it running. Um, we'll, get, we'll get this built and all ready to go. Ready to rumble. Uh, it's going to have some food put into it because it's part of this district here. So I'm um, going to get some food put in it anyway, which is cool. And uh, we'll be back. Ready to make some noise. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, as always, have fun.